He was one of the finest rulers in Muslim history. He was one of the finest rulers in Muslim history. Who has left indelible impressions in history? Who has left indelible impressions in history? Umar bin Abdul Aziz radiyallahu anhu Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyid al-Mursalin amma ba'd فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله Dearest Islamic Brothers, Views of Madani Channel Once again we say marhaba, welcome to our silsila Glimpses into the life of Amir al-Mu'minin Sayyidina Umar bin Abdul Aziz Rahmatullahi Ta'ala First and foremost let us make some good intentions uh, as we always quote a beautiful hadith of Barakah that minds and yours and the universal blessed Rasul Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam has mentioned that Niyatul Mu'mini Khairun Min Amalihi intention of a believer is better than his action so views of Madani Channel, whilst you're watching at this moment and I'm delivering this discourse, let us make some good intentions. First and foremost, our need should be that whatever we are doing is for the sole pleasure of Allah Taala. Whatever we learn, whatever I learn, inshallah, I will try to be practical upon it and try to pass this message on to our fellow Muslims out there, inshallah. These are some intentions one can make. There are many, many more intentions one can make when getting the knowledge of deen, mashallah. May Allah Tabarakutala make it such that inshallah azawajallah we become habitual with always making good intentions inshallah azawajallah which is definitely benefit for the dunya, the qabr and the year after. Sallu ala al-habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad. As for the recitation of salawat upon the beloved and blessed Rasul alayhi salatu salam, Shaykh Tariqat Amir alayhi sunnat mentioned in his famous booklet Ziyad Durud al-Salam the benefits of sending salawat upon the blessed Rasul alayhi salatu salam. He quotes a beautiful narration that the beloved and blessed Rasul alayhi salatu salam has mentioned that if a person recites three times salawat in the day and three times salawat at night, three times salawat in the day and three times salawat in the night, inshallah tabarak ta'ala, that person sins for that day and that night will be forgiven inshallah sallallahu What a small effort only three times Durud Pak in the day and three times Durud Pak in the night. Inshallah Zawajal, try not only to recite three, but you you become habitual. Like Shaykh Tariqat Amir al Sunnah is making our mind to increase our salawat upon the beloved Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam. Sometimes we have a wazifa of 313, a wazif of 313 Durud Pak or 212 Durud Pak or 111 Durud Pak. So different wazif. So choose one of these wazifas, recite daily inshallah tabarak wa ta'ala durud pak upon the beloved and blessed Rasul alayhi salatu wa Remember that durud pak is going to be benefit for us in the dunya, in the cover inshallah tabarak wa ta'ala and most certainly on the day of qiyamah inshallah wa jalla. Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad salatun wa salamun alayka ya sayyidi ya rasulallah wa ala alika wa ashabika ya habib Allah. Inshallah wa jalla, today we're going to listen to uh, some beautiful advisors, Madani pearls of Umar bin Abdul Aziz Rahmatullahi Ta'ala pertaining to children. So Umar bin Abdul Aziz Rahmatullahi Ta'ala, one day he gave direct Madani pearls to his beloved children. And one day he said to his son, remember the favors, the ni'mah of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala which are bestowed upon you and your father. Think, recall. Then help your father in the acts which he is capable of doing. And also help your father in the matters about which you think that your father cannot do. Take care of your life, your health and your youth. If possible, Keep doing the dhikr of Allah Tabarakutala. If it's possible, keep doing the dhikr of Allah. 
in the form of tahmeed and tasbih. Because amongst your good deeds, the best one of the deeds is praising Allah Ta'ala and making his dhikr. Toba, istighfar of a person who desires Jannah and escapes from Jahannam is accepted. And his sins are forgiven in the court of Allah Ta'ala. What beautiful mother Nipples. Prior to the coming of death, O my son, and the ending of deeds, and prior to the giving reward to humans and jinns for the deeds, Allah Ta'ala will give them a reward for the deeds in such a place where fidya, expiation, will not be accepted. Apology will not be beneficial. And hidden matters will be disclosed. People will return after getting the result of their deeds. And they will go to their places after being dispersed. Thus, good news is for the one who obeyed Allah Ta'ala. And destruction is for the one who disobeyed Allah Azza Therefore, if Allah Ta'ala tests you after making you rich, become moderate in spending your wealth and become humble and submissive for the pleasure of Allah Ta'ala. Fulfill the rights of Allah Azza out of your wealth and position. Inshallah Ta'ala, if you follow this, you will be successful. Further, avoid arrogance and self-appreciation and do not have this opinion about the wealth which Allah Ta'ala has bestowed upon you that you have got it by the virtue of any of your nobility or you have got by the virtue of any of your excellence which is missing in those who are not blessed with this wealth. Be careful, my son. If you fall short in giving thanks, you will experience poverty. If you fall short of making shukar, you will experience poverty. And you will be considered amongst those who became rebellious due to their wealth and were rewarded for the deeds in the world. Undoubtedly, I am giving you this piece of advice, my son. I'm giving you these madani pearls, these madani flowers, my son. Though I am about to do something very atrocious to my nafs, I'm about to make mistakes in my matters. If a person does not advise his brother until he himself performs good deeds and becomes perfect in worshipping Allah, people will stop enjoining to do good and prevent from evil and will consider haram acts to be halal. Further, those who advise and do good for the pleasure of Allah Ta'ala on the earth will be left in a small number. Therefore, all praises are for Allah Ta'ala who is the protector of the earths and the skies and for him almighty almightiness is proved on the earth and in the sky and he is superior Azza wa Jalla and the one who knows ways of doing things and who knows everything. Allah Akbar. This time, brother, my channel. What a beautiful Madani pearls by Sayyidina Umar bin Abdul Aziz to his beloved son. And Subhanallah, we as viewers of Madani channel in today's episode of this great person and personality, Umar bin Abdul Aziz, we are taking glimpses, we're just taking glances, glimpses into the life of Umar bin Abdul Aziz. We cannot do justice. But subhanAllah, even a madani pearls to his son is madani pearls to your son. Madani pearls to your son is also madani pearls to my son. It is the madani pearls to, of Umar bin Abdul Aziz to all the sons of the world. Whichever son is there, whichever daughter is there, whichever brother is there, whichever sister is there, whichever uncle is there, whichever aunt is there, Whichever Ammi is there, whichever Abu is there, those Madani pearls Umar bin Abdul Aziz rahmatullahi is giving is not only for his son, but subhanAllah, it is also for us. Those Madani pearls are also for us. So let's take a brief look into these beautiful advices and these beautiful Madani pearls by Sayyidina Umar bin Abdul Aziz rahmatullahi ta'ala. MashaAllah. Remember the favors of your Lord. Huh? Remember the favors of your Lord. Allah Akbar, which are bestowed upon you and your father.
and then help your father in the acts which is capable capable of doing and also in the matters which you think that your father cannot do. Remember the favors of your Lord. Do we ever remember the favors of our Rabb Allah Taala? Views of Madin Channel. As you are watching Madin Channel with your naked eye now, it's a favor of Allah Taala. Always you start to think as you are watching Madin Channel now, it is a favor of Allah Taala that you are able to see Madin Channel. Subhanallah, you are able to hear Madin Channel. You are able to. Be able to hear and see Madani channel. It is a favor of Allah Taala that not only you are able to hear and see that Subhanallah Azza in today's time and era, where this fitna has become the order of the day, Madani channel offers you the special favor of Allah Taala. Media is the order of the day, no doubt about it. But how many of them are favors of Allah Taala, and how many are not? It's a question for you to answer, a question for me to answer, views of Madani Channel. Undoubtedly, Madani Channel is one of those, one of those, which cannot be compared to, nobody can compare Madani Channel with any media network in the world. Alhamdulillah, one outstanding, most beautiful, shari'i, compliant Madani Channel, a favor of Allah Tabarak Ta'ala. So you have the eyes, you see. It's a favor of Allah As you're watching me now, it's a favor of Allah Ta'ala. You're hearing, it's a favor of Allah Ta'ala. So remember the favors of Allah Azzawajal. If you never had these eyes, ask person who had eyesight and don't have eyes anymore. Person who has eyesight and doesn't have eyesight anymore. It was. It is a favor of Allah Ta'ala. You can see for a moment, just block your eyes. Just for a moment. Make yourself blank for a moment. And now think that now I can't see anymore. It's total darkness. Once upon a time I used to see the beautiful Madani channel. Now I can't see anymore. Block your ears for a moment. And, and try to uh, com contemplate that I can't hear Madani channel anymore. These are the favors of Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. Subhanallah So he's uh, giving the advice to his son. Remember the favors of Allah Taala, which are bestowed upon you and your family. Too many favors. Your eyes your favor, your heart is your favor, your hands are your favor, your legs are your favor. The place where you are sitting is a favor, a niyam of Allah Taala. The roof which you are sitting under at the moment, the electricity that you got is a favor of Allah Azawajal. Just as you are sitting and watching Madin Channel, you are drinking water or cold drink or juices or whatever. It's a favor of Allah Taala. It's a niyam of Allah Azawajal. Of course, stay away from those type of things that are harmful to the body. Yes, favor of Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. Your car is a favor of Allah Azza wa Jalla. Your bank balance is a favor of Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. The phone that you pick up to answer is a favor of Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. So remember the favors of Allah Azza wa Jalla. The education that you got is a favor of Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. You becoming hafid of Quran is a favor of Allah Azza wa Jalla. You becoming Qari or Ali Madin is a favor of Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. All these are the favors, the special ni'mah of Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. Remember the favors of Allah Azza which are bestowed upon your father and you. So you also start remembering the favors of, that are bestowed upon you and your father and uh, you and your mother and mother and daughter. You start thinking about all the favors. Because the advice from Umar bin Abdul Aziz, Rahmatullahi Ta'ala and Subhanallah Azza wa also it's Quran Ayat. MashaAllah Azzawajal, remember the favors of your Lord, the bounties of Allah Taala, and help your father in the matters which you think your father cannot do. Views of the channel. How many things our fathers can't do? Hmm? So many things that we can do, our fathers can't do. Yes, as the fathers get old, as Abu gets old, Amijan gets old, there are many things they cannot do anymore. You ever see that sometimes Abu is picking up something, all of a sudden, oh, back pain. What happened, Abu? What happened? I got a pain in my back because I tried to pick up this heavy item. You remember those days? Views of Madani Channel, ever happened to you at home? Amijan, Abu, it happened to us. Yes, it happens to us. Child watches View of Madani Channel. You saw your father, you saw your grandfather, you saw your elder in this condition. So, Allah Akbar. 
also help in the matters which you think your father cannot do. Help. MashaAllah. I mean, Jan can't do. She's getting old. Hmm? Nani's gone old. Daddy's gone old. Daddy cannot run in businesses anymore. He cannot run in business like the way he used to do when he was young. He used to move day and night to ensure that he gets halal earning to feed you. Yes, views of mother, to feed us. So do not forget that. And think about those things that daddy cannot do anymore. Mommy cannot do anymore. Help in those things. So Umar bin Abdul Aziz, Rahmatullah, is talking about those things. Where he had the power to do, he could not do. And mashallah, so the children are growing. Now they have the power they can do. Once you are young, you have the power you can do. Subhanallah. So take care of these important points. And further he goes on. He says, take care of your life, your health, and your youth. Allahu Akbar. It rings a bell. Take care of your life, your health, and your youth. Life only comes once. This life on the earth only comes once. Once the ruh of comes out of the body, life is finished. Khalas, finito, gone. So take care of your life. This is also a ni'mah of Allah Ta'ala. This is a special favor of Allah that Allah Ta'ala gave us life in the form of ruh installed, instilled into our hearts, into our body. That we can be able to move, we're able to walk, we're able to talk, we're able to eat, we're able to drink, we're able to sleep. Do all the things that the favors of Allah has bestowed upon us. So this is also a favor of Allah Ta'ala. So take care of your life because life only comes once. And this life, as Allah Ta'ala says in Quran and Majid, الَّذِي خَلَقَ الْمَوْتَ وَالْحَيَاةَ لِيَبْلُوَكُمْ أَيُّكُمْ أَحْسَنُ amala. That we created life. We created death and life. For what? So that we can examine you. Examine you for what? For whom of you are righteous in deeds? Yes, views of Madani Channel. You think about it. So this life, Umar bin Abdul Aziz, Rahmatullah, is talking to his son. He's giving him the advice. Madani Pearl, take care of your life. What life? The same life. Life and death created by Allah. So that he can examine you. According to Quran and Majid, Allah is examining us. He puts us on an examination table. Yes, he once was all this dunya that we are seeing in this dunya, all the beauties and all the name of Allah, there's an exam, the wealth, your car, your house, your family, your children. Their rights, your rights, his rights, her rights, parents' rights, business rights. These are all name of Allah, you have to be accountable for it. So you are an examination at the moment in dunya. As long as ruh is inside the body, as long as you're breeding the name of Allah, you have to fulfill the rights. And you have to make shukr to Allah Ta'ala and take care of the life because life and death is created by Allah Ta'ala. Health. Allah Akbar. Views of Mother Channel. Umar bin Abdul Aziz, Rahmatullahi Ta'ala. Subhanallah. So what beautiful Madani pearls. It bayans and bayans and bayans and series can go on only on the advices of the Madani pearls given to his son. Umar bin Abdul Aziz, Rahmatullahi Ta'ala. He talks about his health. Take care, my son, of your life, your health. Hmm? How many times we sit and we think that, yeah, if I never did that in a young age. Young age, we sit so much of colding, so much of colding, damages our body, creates sugar, creates so much of difficulty for us. Huh? Damages in our body, our bladder, all in, in messed up. We have ice cold juices, ice cold coldings, ice cold this, ice we eat, we, we, we create damage for our body. Using those things that are harmful to the body, Smoking, harmful to the body. Good car, harmful to the body. So many things harmful to the body. We take it now young age, we take it now young age. And when, we, when the health is damaged, what we say? Ah, oh, man. You know, we should have taken care when we were young. We had the power. We should have done like this. We should have done like that. So why don't you do now? So Umar bin Abdul Aziz, Rahmatullahi he knows what he's talking about. When he says, take care of your health, oh my son, look after your health. Actually, health is your real wealth. What is, what is wealth without health? You, you answer me the question. Or if you only got millions and millions of pounds in your account or millions and millions of dollars or rands in your account, what is wealth without health? Please answer the question. You know what we're talking about. Maybe some of the viewers of Madhani Channel at the moment, you're watching. Maybe you, your health is not good at the moment. Health condition is not good at the moment. Maybe you're very sick. Maybe, may Allah forbid, maybe you're bedridden. 
You can't manage, you can't, you can't wake up even from the sofa. At the moment, you can't wake up from the chair, you're watching Madin channel. So much of sicknesses you got, so much of difficulties you got, so much of parishani you got. Sometimes you sit and you think that, yeah, I should have taken care of my health. I should have taken care of my health because health is actually my real wealth. So what beautiful Madani Pulse of Umar bin Abdul Aziz Rahmatullah. He says, further take care of your youth. Of course, we heard this in Hadith from Barakah. All these Madani Pulse that are coming from, from Umar bin Abdul Aziz Rahmatullah is definitely the Madani Pulse coming from the blessed lips of the beloved Rasul Take care of your youth. Oh, oh my son, take care of your youth. When we were young, we could do so many things. Yeah? When we were young, we were so powerful. When we were young, we were so energetic. When we are young, we could take so much of knowledge, so much of knowledge of deen, so much of things. So take care of your youth, oh my son. Umar bin Abdul Aziz, Rahmatullah says, because you have the power, you can do now. If you're young out there and you're listening to the Silsila today, there's a chance for you to understand that youth is important for us. In youth, Allah Taala loves the person and personalities who come close to Allah Taala at the time of youth. He loves those personalities. So become a friend of Allah Azza Don't look at friend of Allah Taala when we're getting old. No, no, no. You can become friend of Allah Azza when you're old, but start in the youth age because Allah loves persons when they're youth, when they're young. Allah Azza loves for them to be closer towards Allah Taala. If it's possible, my son. Keep doing the zikr of Allah Taala. Keep making the zikr of Allah Taala in the form of tahmid and tasbih. Allah Akbar. Because amongst your good deeds, the best one of them is the deed of the zikr of Allah Taala. In one of the silsilas, we discussed this previously about the zikr of Allah Taala. Keep making the zikr of Allah Subhanahu You say, you know this this piece of tongue, the meat, get it engaged in the dhikr of Allah Subhanahu All the time, start to talk good. If you keep talking good, keep making the dhikr of Allah Subhanahu you want to see a person's reality? You want to see a person's reality about his reality? Whether he's really engaged in the remembrance of Allah Subhanahu his beloved Rasul Alayhi Salatu Salam, in, 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 in the remembrance of the only Allah? Check in the time of emergency, almost is about to meet an accident. Almost. What he comes, what first word comes, Ya Allah. First word comes out is Ya Allah. Ya, Ya Rasulullah. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ya, Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani. Ya Ghosbak. Radiallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Did you hear that? These are those person and personalities. They are used to the dhikr of Allah Azza wa They used to the dhikr of the beloved Rasul Alayhi Salatu Wasallam. They used to the dhikr of Awliya Allah. This is why when time of emergency, always you hear them reciting, Inna, Inna Lillahi, Inna Lillahi, Wa Inna Ilayhi Rajiun. Subhanallah Azza wa Jalla. Because why? They are inclined to the dhikr of Allah Taala. If you are inclined to the dhikr of Allah Azza wa Jalla, like the advices, the Madani pearls of Umar bin Abdul Aziz, Rahmatullah Taala is telling his son, keep making the dhikr of Allah Azza wa Jalla. Keep making the dhikr of Allah Azza wa Jalla in abundance. Subhanallah, so you will see at the time of emergency, in the time of difficulty, in the time of parishani, in any time, inshallah, tabar, when you are in difficulty, the first thing will come out. Even if you get up from your sleep, huh? from your sleep in a, in a dreadful dream, inshallah, tabar, as soon as you get up from the dreadful dream, inshallah, first thing, inshallah, tabar, first thing will come out is, Ya Allah! Inshallah, so may Allah, tabar, make us from amongst those persons. They always make the dhikr of Allah so Istighfar. He says, oh my son, repentance, istighfar, toba of a person who desires jannat and escapes from hell is accepted and his sins are forgiven. Views of Madani channel. In fact, toba is it's a topic on its own. But he said, keep making istighfar. <laughs> Keep making Tawbah. As the blessed and beloved Rasul alayhi salatu salam said, the one who makes Tawbah, the one who makes istighfar, the one who makes istighfar, the one who makes Tawbah is like the one who never committed sin. 
Yes, views upon the Excellent. So when Umar bin Abdul Aziz, Rahmatullahi Ta'ala, is giving the advices, is giving the motherly flowers of wisdom to his son and telling him about istighfar, is istighfar of a person who desires Jannah, of course, views of Madhani Jannah. You desire Jannah, I desire Jannah, you want to escape from Jahannam, I want to escape from Jahannam, we all want to escape from Jahannam, you want to escape from the Adab of Allah Ta'ala, I want to escape from the Adab of Allah Ta'ala, you want to get freedom from the fire of Jahannam, I want freedom from the fire of Jahannam, you want to escape from the Adab of Qabr, I want to escape from the Adab of Qabr. So Subhanallah, the solution is there. And tabled, mashallah, and given by Umar bin Abdul Aziz, rahmatullah, make, make istighfar and subhanallah, desire Jannah, desire Jannah, because the more you desire Jannah, the more you love Jannah, the more you love Jannah, inshallah, ta'ala, you'll be thinking about Jannah all the time, and Jannah, inshallah, the thoughts of Jannah will make us think about doing good deeds all the time and making istighfar, tawbah, inshallah, in the court of Allah, ta'ala, inshallah. So views of Madani Channel, try your best. Inshallah Tabarakutala to follow these beautiful Madani pearls. The wisdom, words of wisdom, I would call them words of wisdom. Madani pearls from these greatest of personalities, Umar bin Abdul Aziz, Rahmatullahi Ta'ala. So we should not just let these pearls, these Madani pearls just pass, pass by, pass by. No, no, you watch the series. Alhamdulillah, you receive the Madani pearls. And we now understand when we talk about Umar bin Abdul Aziz, uh, Rahmatullahi Taala, Subhanallah Azza Now we understand exactly why, when we why the why our ulama ikram, eh, our pious ancestors, why they always quoting Umar bin Abdul Aziz, Rahmatullahi Taala. I always always was envy. I was always envying and thinking about it. My thoughts that always I hear Nigrani Shura always talking Umar bin Abdul Aziz, Umar bin Abdul Aziz, Umar bin Abdul Aziz, Rahmatullahi Taala. Subhanallah wa May Allah wa ta'ala make it such that we follow the footsteps of Umar bin Abdul Aziz. Rahmatullah wa ta'ala. May Allah wa ta'ala forgive us without accountability for the sake of Umar bin Abdul Aziz. Rahmatullah wa ta'ala. Allah karam. Aisa kare tujh pe jahaan mein. Ay dawat islami. Teri doom machi ho. Ameen. Bijahi nabil ameen. Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Sallu ala al-habib. Sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad. He was one of the finest rulers in Muslim history. He was one of the finest rulers in Muslim history. Who was left indelible impressions in history. Who was left indelible impressions in history. Umar bin Abdul Aziz. Oh,